Hey guys, it's Huda. I'm the founder of Huda Beauty and Wishful, and today I am so excited for you guys to go to bed with me. I have been through a very intense skincare journey. I had really good skin as a kid, but when I got to about to 17, 18, I started to get adult acne, and my skin was really, really, really just unpredictable would be the word that I would use. Um, and I think it was kind of um, bitchy as well. <laughs> so I've learned to keep my skincare consistent and also fairly simple. I do have a lot of steps, but what I mean by simple is, you know, not overcomplicating it, making sure that I do the same thing over and over again. I am constantly trying products and I'm also testing all of our products that we launched with Huda Beauty and Wishful. So I'm always introducing new things into my regimen and that can cause breakouts and a lot of times it does. I do obviously introduce things over time, but I make sure I do it in the simplest manner. So I will try a new product and I'll introduce it usually in my decollete first. If I don't break out there, then I go to my face. So now I'm gonna get into my evening skincare routine and I'm gonna show you guys what I do. Okay, so I am such a huge fan of cleansing your skin. I cleanse my skin, I cleanse my face, I cleanse my neck, my decollete, and I always do it in the shower because this way I can really get in there. I like to get really into my hairline. I like to get into around my ears, even sometimes behind my ears. I've been obsessed with the Tatcha Deep Cleanse. I mean, you can tell. This, this has been through a lot. <laughs> We've been through a lot together. After I get out of the shower and I've moisturized my body, I will then wash my hands and then I start with my face process. And I call it a process because there are a couple of steps. So I've been using the number two um, Clinique toner literally for about, I wanna say 12 years, maybe even longer. It's the only thing that keeps my skin clear. If I get away from using this, I immediately break out. So I stick to this. Okay, so I'm gonna grab one of my cotton pads and I'm really weird with what I use and I'm obsessed with these little cotton pads from Target. Um, I live in Dubai, so I go to Target and I fill like an entire cart with these and then I bring them to Dubai and everybody always thinks I'm so weird, but they're so good. These are the exfoliating um, cotton pads so you can see they have like these little these little ridges here and I feel like it just goes so much deeper into your skin. So I'm gonna grab the toner here and I got this packaging once in a Christmas kit and I just always fill it in because you can do this. I put, I put too much, I don't usually put this much. I got a little carried away, I was excited. And I'll start in my T-zone. So I'm not applying too much pressure when I go downward, only when I go upward so you can see it's almost like I'm massaging upward and then I kind of almost pick it up when I go this way. My skin type is combination, um, pretty dry in most places, which is why a lot of people who have dry skin tend to like over moisturize or they'll do something that will sometimes dry their skin out very easily and then they will end up creating a lot of dryness and their sebaceous glands will go into like overproduction and that's why you sometimes get like this cystic acne. I hydrate my skin like crazy, you wouldn't believe. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of dirt there. I like, I cleanse really well, but there's always sometimes a little bit of, I feel like it's always like here, where I like I maybe don't cleanse as well. Like between my ear and my hairline, it could also be hair dye, cause. <laughs> now this we're gonna throw away. I have looked for options that are more sustainable than this and there are some things, but these actually work the best. Um, I think that sustainable compacts would be amazing, but they have to have these like ridges here because that would make them the best. So I love Essence. I'm obsessed with Essence. I literally don't believe that anyone should not use an Essence. It's so, so, so important. You have to prep the skin and make sure that it really absorbs everything from your moisturizer, all those really good ingredients from your serums, everything you need to use in essence. Um, this essence is the best I've ever used. And I've tried literally all of the most popular essence out there. First of all, it's um, from a brand that is called BioEffect. It's an Icelandic brand. I love Iceland. Um, There's so many things about Iceland that I find to be so good for your skin. And this one actually is made off of um, out of barley. So this mimics the epidermal growth factor we have in our skin. So it really is just so good for rejuvenation, for just making sure that your skin is supple and healthy. And I usually just apply it directly onto my skin and I'm going everywhere. And usually what I'll do is I'll usually do my decollete 
and face separately because I get really weird about just mixing products. I only started doing my decollete recently and you can actually see a difference. Actually, it's getting so much better, but you can tell this one came in. She wasn't loved as much. I don't do this every night, but I try to do this as often as possible. Um, if you guys have followed my blog back in the day, you know how much I love, love, love the Institute Estoderm EVE Serum. This is unbelievable. And I have said it a million times why it's unbelievable, but this is just, it's incredible. And the reason why I love this is basically, so I'll use like one to two pumps. First of all, Institute Estoderm is one of the most amazing skincare brands. They own Bioderma um, as well as, um, you know, a lot of really great technology when it comes to skin. They were the first to create sunblock. And when they actually, when you go into a lab, when you're creating skincare products, you have to first create the skin. So they would actually, they were creating skin within a lab and they released the enzyme that's within this product of um, what they use to create skin. So I feel like it really helps tighten my pores. It also keeps my jaw nice and tight. So what I'll do is I'll apply this and then I will use, I love this derma roller. This is from Beauty Bio. If you guys have ever tried Beauty Bio, they're amazing. And the reason why I love their derma rollers is because they vibrate, but also it has a red light in it. And not all red lights are created equal. I'm really into red light therapy, so I'll just do a little bit. I don't usually do that much every night. And I usually just put this under hot water before I do it to make sure that it's really nice and clean. So this is really making sure that that product that I just applied is penetrating deep into the skin. And you really don't wanna do this during the morning routine. You only wanna do this in your evening routine because you're kind of opening up your skin and you don't wanna put makeup on after that. Next is our hyaluronic acid, our thirst trap juice, which I am obsessed with. This is like, I can't tell you how many bottles I've gone through. Um, this is my favorite. I actually stopped using it for a little while because I was like trying to see how my skin would be without it. And big mistake. The reason why I love this hyaluronic acid, it has like three different types of hyaluronic acid in it. It just has literally the most amazing ingredients for your skin. Obviously when we're creating Wishful, I do create it for myself. <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys. This was like specifically important to me because I was really weird about hyaluronic acids. And this one is just, it's so good. It has a nice slip, but then it also gives your skin like a nice hydration. Oh, and I can't believe I forgot peptides. It's packed full of peptides. I am obsessed with peptides. You're literally gonna see in every single Wishful product um, that is for a moisturizer or used as a moisturizer, I am obsessed with pumping our products full of peptides. Okay guys, so now to the star of the show. This is our, oh, how do I describe this? I love it so much. This is our Honey Whip. It's a peptide moisturizer, but the reason why I love it so much, okay, first of all, it's packed full of amazing ingredients, but I struggle with moisturizer. Almost all moisturizers break me out. Like I've never had a moisturizer that I can use consistently without fail, and it would make my skin be moisturized. I would feel moisturized, but then I also wouldn't get the dryness throughout the day, and then I would also have, yeah, I've struggled finding a moisturizer that actually moisturizes your skin and keeps your skin hydrated. And this has been created just to do that. Every single person who's tried this has said it has their favorite moisturizer. Um, my sister Mona and I can never agree on skincare. She has stolen many bottles of this from me and I can't believe how many bottles I've gone through. Um, and the reason why I think I'm going through it so quickly too is because I've started using it on my decollete as well. Oh, how do I describe it? It feels so light, but also incredibly nourishing for the skin, but it's not heavy. A lot of those really fancy moisturizers, I feel like they just can be really, really heavy for the skin and just too intense. And this one is just, it's just that perfect amount of moisture. Yeah, it's just so good. It's so good. I could put this on all day, really slowly. I could just, I feel like I want to put like slow music on and go like, dun, dun, dun. Like that's why I feel like it feels that good. For the final step, um, I know there was a few steps. You can always take out a few steps if you want. I personally would never go without the essence, without the moisturizer and without an oil. The serums, if you want to get rid of them, I don't recommend it, but if you want to, I totally get it, you know, to each their own um, and you can remove some of those steps. But one that a lot of people tend to skip and I don't think you ever should, is an oil. A lot of people are afraid of oils. They're always afraid that they're gonna break them out and I get it. This is one of the best things I've ever used to even out my skin. Um, when we were testing, I was actually in Iceland and I was testing it with my team. And one of the things that I did, I actually put this on my bikini area as well. 
<laughs> which I don't know if I'm allowed to recommend that to you guys, but that's what I do. You know, it takes like skin that is dry and it just makes it look like new skin, like really newly hydrated, newly formed skin. And again, a lot of oils break people out, but this one has been formulated to be just effective and really light. I use this on my daughter. I use this on every single spot of my body. Um, and I feel like it's just, it's so great. When I was testing this, cause I was testing so many samples, I was in Iceland and I use it on half of my face and within two days, I could literally tell the difference on my skin. So I was using it twice a day. I always use it morning and night and it's the last step in my skincare process because um, one of the important things to remember is you have to apply products in order of the molecule size and oil has a bigger molecule size than your moisturizer, your serum, you know, et cetera. So when you put this on at the end, it kind of locks everything in. It kind of locks in the moisture, but it also makes sure that you get the ingredients um, in your other skincare products too. Now I'm gonna move on to my eye cream. I always wash my hands in between, so I'm gonna quickly wash my hands because you can see they're they're oily. The last step for my routine, I always like to use a really kind of contouring eye product. So I'm using the Clarins. This is the extra firming um, eye expert wrinkle and radiance. I love it personally. I don't actually apply too much of it. I only apply like a small amount and I will, I don't really like to um, rub my eyes. When people rub their eyes, it makes me really uncomfortable. <laughs> It's one of those things that we think is an old wives tale and we're removing our makeup, we're kind of rough and as we start to age, you're like, what? <laughs> what did I do to my skin? Why did I do that? And I'm gonna be 40 in a couple years, so my skincare routine is super, super important. I also always finish off with a spray um, and I love the Amora Visca um, spray. I just love it, I might be saying that wrong. I actually don't know how to say it. It's a really light mist. I don't get a lot of facials. I don't get my skin, you know, looked at all the time by derms. Um, I actually do mostly everything at home. That's what you do when you grow up in an immigrant household. You kind of learn how to, you know, flat iron your hair with an iron and do your own skincare. So I've always done my own um, skincare and my own um, facials. And these are the things that I've tried and tested over the years and made my skin feel really, really good. So this is what I love to use. And I feel like my skin isn't like the best place that it ever has, but um, I'm tired. It's been a long day, so I'm gonna head to bed now. Um, and I hope that you guys enjoy this video make sure you guys do try our honey whip moisturizer i know you guys are gonna love it so much and i'll see you guys next time send you guys so much love